Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, oh, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Rafael, Magdil, Marilyn, Katia. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi. How have you been? <sighs> well, it's Monday, so everything is... It's pretty good, pretty good. How about did you? you? How's everything over there? Did you rest on weekends? Yes, of course I did. I did, yes. On Saturday, I went out with a friend. And on Sunday, I mean yesterday, I just spent the whole day in my house with my baby, with my son. And I was here watching games, uh, watching some soccer games. So it was really good, really good. And I rested a lot, yes. It was good. Tell me, how is everything? How is everything with you guys? How are you? How are you today? How was your weekend? <clears throat> how was your weekend? Tell me. I was working in my home on, but, uh, on Saturday. On Saturday. But I, Charis. I do my chores. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But did you did you get a good rest? Yes. Uh Saturday at the afternoon. Oh Saturday afternoon. And what about Sunday? And um, Sunday I went to the chore in the morning and I rest in the in the afternoon. All right, and you rested in yeah. the afternoon. All right, that's good, that's good. That's a very good weekend, you know, like productive, normal. It was good. It was good for you. Yeah, fine. What about the rest? How was your week, Katya? Hi, good night, teacher and How everyone. <laughs> uh, well, my weekend was very good for me. I was with my family and my little niece. Uh, I played with her. 
eh, the Saturday and Sunday and Sunday I <laughs> I rest my day. You what? Sorry. Well, I went to the church and, and rest with my family. All right, all right. Okay, that's good. That's good. A good weekend. Normal. All right. Did you go to yeah, this... normal with family. <laughs> Did you go to the San Miguel the church? Yes, I went to San Miguel. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I, did not go. <laughs> I didn't go to San Miguel. Uh it was it was actually my plan to go to San Miguel on, on Saturday, but my friend is not really doing well. He's a little sick. So uh, he was feeling bad physically. So we just went out, had a couple of uh, of, uh, of of food actually. Again, uh, a couple of drinks and food. And uh, it was normal. Yes, we got some chicken, some uh, campero chicken, and, uh, some sodas. It was normal. Yes, but the plan was to go, was to go to to uh to watch a movie in San Miguel, but it was not possible. Yes. Okay. Do you do you live uh, near to the Puerto Triunfo? No. Not, re not really. Not really. It's. A little far from here. Maybe if I go to Puerto Triunfo, it will take me like 25 or 30 minutes or maybe 40 minutes. Because honestly, I have never I have never gone to Puerto Triunfo. I have gone to Hikilisco because uh, I work in Hikilisco, but I, I have never gone to Puerto Triunfo. Maybe someday. I don't know. <laughs> How's the weather? Over there. Here's Lutani is I don't know. It, sometimes it's cold. Uh, but right now it's just neutral. It's not really cold. It's not really hot. It's just like in between. In the early in the morning, like around 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., it's very cold. Yes. But like around around eleven a.m. in the uh, during the day, I mean, like around eleven a.m. or one p.m., it's very hot. Welcome, uh, Eric. Thank you guys for joining, Mario, and Emerson. Thank you guys for being here again. Yes, Mario. What about you? How was your weekend? I don't know if she's there or not. Hi, good evening. Hi, so, um, I'm so good because I rest. You day. rest? You rested? Yeah. Did you yeah. do some? Did you do something with your family or with yourself? Do you go out or something? Did you watch a movie? No, I wasn't my home. Huh? Yeah. All right, you just I spend, only spend. do did um um I washed my clothes and there are um some clothes yeah, yeah. and they clean the house only that <laughs> I understand I understand it's and okay. sleep. <laughs> uh, sometimes sometimes we just want to stay in the house relax do our things like wash our clothes clean the house watch tv and we don't want to go out we don't want to do anything else just stay in the house it's fun. yeah i think that's because i change um um the change the the schedule of my job and and now it's that uh, 7 a.m to 5 p.m and so it's uh, I think that's a, a little large for me because um in the before it was the a a.m. and five p.m. So in the in the Saturday a a.m. and twelve p.m. Well, yeah, you, for the reason I think that. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I, I prefer to stay in my home. Okay, I understand. I understand. 
So they gave you one extra hour? Wow. Yeah. That's so sad. You know, I don't know, but I'm I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I uh, just like glad or happy or thankful that I have a a very. I mean, it is not easy, but I do not work a lot of hours. I just work from 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 seven a.m. to twelve p.m. every day. So my afternoons are off. Yes, I'm I'm thankful that I have this this job that is, uh, it doesn't require to work the whole day, just uh, half a day. But maybe in this coming year, I am going to work the whole day. I'm not really sure, but I mean, it's okay. Yes. Okay, I understand that you are yeah. tired, that you, you prefer to stay in the house. It's good. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for, for saying that. Yes. Rafael, what about you? How was your weekend? Did you do something interesting? Did you go out? Movies, family time. Uh, yes, yeah, teacher. Um, Saturday, I spent my time making deliveries for business. Uh, and um, at night on Saturday, I spent my time with my boyfriend, uh, watching movies. Uh, on Sunday, I spent my time at home making. Uh, cleaning the house, uh, cleaning all the house. All right, and all right. Last last week, uh, I was on vacation. Uh, the entire week. Uh, today was my first day. Uh, return, return to to the work. And I work from one thirty a.m. to ten thirty a.m. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, well, let me tell you, Rafael, that it was it was a little difficult to understand you. I don't know uh, what's happening or what's happening. Maybe your microphone is too close to your mouth or, or you got some kind of interference. But I heard, well, I couldn't hear you well. I couldn't hear you well. There was some inter interference, but I understood uh, most of, of what you said, but there were some parts I didn't really understand. Just try to check what what's going on, all right? Yes. Okay. I will. I will change my my headset. Maybe that that's the problem. Maybe that's, that's the problem. I don't know. Just try to do it. All right. But what you say? What about you? How's everything? Well, I was working the Thursday oh, and Sunday. Oh. I didn't have free time just today and tomorrow. Well, I enjoy the 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 time I started after my job on Saturday because I really like the uh, UFC uh, fights. And oh, really? Yes, I enjoy that a lot. And and, and for my Saturday, only that on job and UFC. And yesterday, after my job, I just started to rest. I took a pill to rest a lot and wake up today uh, later, but I didn't do that because my sister needed to go to the to the downtown to buy something closest and, and and vegetables, and only that for me only that and well, um, I have a a, a stressful routine, but I try to to get some sometimes to. To enjoy my life. All right, all right, that's good, that's good. So you're telling me, or what you say is that today is your, today and tomorrow are your days off. Yes, today and tomorrow. All right, all right, that's good, that's good. I mean, it's 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 it is sad and bad that you do not rest on Saturday and Sundays, but you still have your days. You do two days off. Today and tomorrow. Yes, but I don't have any problem with that because I avoid the traffic on Saturday and Sunday, and I uh, and avoid the traffic on Monday and Tuesday because I don't go, I don't, I don't have to go to the work. And I, I think that I, I, I try to say the glass. Uh, I, I try to say the, 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 the great, uh, uh, chance to. To, to enjoy my rest, my, my day, my rest day. Um, 
I work on, on Sunday and Saturday. I don't have any problem with that. Just with my friends, with my friends. Hey, man, go to the beach, please, with us. And no, oh, man, I have to work. Oh, on Saturday I not. Hey, what happened? A couple of beer with us? No, man, I can't. <laughs> so only yeah. for that, but but I don't have any problem with that. I I enjoy my Monday and and Tuesday because. Uh, I oh, I have all opportunities to go to the bank or to go to the the mall or other places, and all is 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 empty because everybody is working. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yes. <laughs> all right, it got some advantage, huh? Yes. It's good and I'm working on them. All right. Well, I'm glad that you're resting today. You're gonna be resting tomorrow. That's good. Uh, you deserve Thanks. it. Yes, you deserve it. All right. Yes, uh, Raul, Mario, and uh, Ronald, thank you for, for showing up. Eric, hello. Guys, how was your weekend? Tell me. We have a lot of time today. Today is the our, our uh, well, it's the last day of the first unit or the first week, which means that we have uh, some things to review. Yes, we have already seen this, but we're going to review some vocabulary, some things that we... we we have to remember and put into practice. So it's okay. We can talk. You can tell me what's going on with your lives. We have time to do that. No problem. Yes. So Eric, how was your week? And tell me. Are you there? Did you go out? Did you do something interesting with your family? For sure. All right. What did you do? Mm, the Saturday... I was spent time with my son and my wife, Hi. and I was watching movies and playing with him in the afternoon. All right. Yes, because I wanna, I want, I want to try that he start to to walk, but oh. he can't. But he can't. And it's, it's hard to me because I want to see him uh, running in the yard. Yes. 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 And I would like to go out with him in the park or on other, um, other places. In other places. If, right. if he, if he um, walk. Uh -huh. Um the the Sunday uh I went I went to the church with my my parents and my sister and uh, that's it. I spent time with my family. All right, that that is good, that is good. That is good. I, I envy you, I envy you. You do you ha you have uh like what I would like to have. I do not have my family with me. I only have my mother and my dad just passed away a couple of years ago. And uh, my sisters do not live with me. I do spend time with my baby and with my son. Yes. And uh, well, it's, it's good to, to spend time with family too. Yes. Let me tell you that a couple of years ago when my son was, uh, I'm not really sure, 14 months old, more than a year old. He couldn't walk, yes. Uh, but this 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 time he was uh like fourteen months old, and I brought him to my house because I do not live with his mother. Unfortunately, it, it was bad, but I mean it's okay. Uh, and uh, luckily I don't know, but luckily I was the one who saw him walk for the first time, yes. And uh, but I lost I lost the videos, so I don't really have the videos when he walked for the first time yes but i saw him i saw him walk for the first time it was good good experience it was uh heartwarming awesome yes i i always when i i'm playing with him i try to take a picture or or make a video yes and he can't stand but it is hard because he only he is one years old with with two months. Uh huh. 
and he's young, he's a baby now, uh, yet. And but I can see in other play in other places, uh, boys and children that has a uh, less year than him and they are walking and i don't understand why he can't yeah it's, but it's, uh, i i'm waiting for that yes. for this surprise for I'm some for, for some babies for some babies it is it is uh, it takes more time for them to walk i'm telling you my my baby was 14 14 month month old a year and two months old when he started walking. Yes, he was not a. Uh, he was one year and two. When uh, when he started walking, yes, when he started walking. All right, sorry, I was doing some. Okay, uh, thank you guys for thank you Eric for your for your uh, for saying what you did during the weekend. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can see Raul. Raul, what happened to you? Raul, what, what's going on? Haven't seen you in uh, I don't know how many days, in like three or two sessions, but you haven't been here. How are you? How's everything? He's not available right now. Mario, Yulisa, Carla, welcome, guys. Ronald, thank you for joining. How is everything, people? Pretty good, teacher. Can complain. All right, Emerson, excellent. Did you well, do something interesting in the weekend? Well, actually, the Saturday I had to work. Oh, okay. And uh, then Sunday, we're well, practically spent time here in my house. Resting because oh, it was a hard week, a hard week, and what well, you know, you had to recover energies for the next for this new week because yeah. there are a lot of projects in my in my job. Yes, yeah, but you know, the best the best season is about to get here. You know, the best season, December, Christmas. I mean, it's it's yeah. moving, it's moving, you know, but but it's it's I I like it, I like it, I like Christmas. It's a good season. It's a relaxing yeah. season, you know. You know, you're going to spend time with your family. You're gonna have a, a good time. You're gonna be laughing, probably dancing. If well, in some cases, right? Some people do that. Some people don't. They have fun in different ways, which is also good. Yes. Yeah, actually, in my work, uh, there's a lot of activities. Not really related to work, but yet related for uh, last year holidays. For example, uh, it's like a Thanksgiving. Oh, we're yeah. going to celebrate there, and well, in December the the dinner celebration from Christmas, and also all my coworkers uh, used to used to decorate all the the offices. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. That's good. Yeah, That's it's good. Very, very interesting because yeah, it's very moved. Uh, December is very moved, and also it's very curious because uh, a lot of people starting to to celebrate or getting involved in this Christmas season mm -hmm. in November because yeah. you know the the adulthood the adults doesn't uh, feel like the Christmas like when we are children because children or well, as far as I remember Christmas or the all December I feel felt a long long month you know but for the for the people the the adults they doesn't feel that a lot so I yeah. think that's because people start from November or October <laughs> to decorate all the Christmas theme. Yes the houses the, the the workplaces, uh, many things. Even the businesses outside, they start to decorate. They they said that the, the the Christmas tree and everything. Yes, but I haven't seen anything right now. Maybe the next week or the second week or in the middle of November, we're gonna be seeing the the, the whole uh, Christmas decorations in many places. Yes. 
I bet I bet that will be in the second uh, after November fifteenth. Probably so. Exactly. Exactly. Like the third the third week of November, we're gonna start to be see, we're gonna see be seeing the the the, 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 the decorations the decorations exactly yes That's right. yes all right all right awesome give me give me a minute. All right, I'm back. I was just picking up some something to drink, some water. All right. Well, uh, before we continue, let me take attendance right now. I see more people have joined. That's good. That's good. Thank you guys for for joining. Let me see. Hi, teacher. Sorry, Hi. I'm late, but I'm here. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you for joining. I know sometimes it's hard to, to get online to, to join the classes, but the good thing is that you are here right now. So let me see. Diego Josue Benitez. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Oh, she's not here. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here, present. Thank you. Yes, you are. Ulysses Amilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Luis Fabricio. Oh, I think I, I read a message from him in the WhatsApp group saying that he had a car accident. I, I wonder if he's okay. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you, Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Alberto Her Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you. Raul Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Present. Thank you, Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. All right, all right. We got it, we got it. Thank you guys for for, for everything. All right, Luis is got here. Okay, Luis. Yes, Luis Castillo. Hello, Luis, Javier. Thank you for joining. I was just taking attendance. All right, uh, I told you at the beginning, Sorry, we're going to continue. Uh, I told you at the beginning that today is the last day of the first week. All right. That means the today we're going to have some review. And also, this means that I am going to update right after class. I'm going to go directly to the platform to see what's going on over there. And I'm going to update the, the grades, the, the activities. Uh, so that means you guys need to work on the activities today, right after class, to have them completed or to finish them today or tomorrow morning, the latest. But let me tell you that right after class, I am going to check the platform activities and I'm going to move the, the, the grades to your uh, record. So I'm going to be doing that today right after class. Let's begin. So welcome everybody to session number five or day number five, Monday, November 6th. This month is flying, it's going really fast. The, the first week 
went, went by very quickly. Let's take a look. Uh, who wants to read this? Who wants to read this? Read it, read it. Look, it's the Monday quote or this week's quote. Okay. Mondays are the start of the work week, which offered new beginnings 52 times a year. David Neck or oh, Wick. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you for, for reading it. All right. It says the Mondays are the start of the work week, which offer new beginnings. 52 times a year, yes. And uh, well, the person who, who thought about this is David, uh, I don't know, the week or something like that, yes. So guys, today is Monday. It's the beginning of the work week. Well, you already began with the work week because it's already night, so. And uh, well, uh, how many Mondays do we have left? Today is the second, the first Monday of November. So that means we only have uh, seven Mondays left of this year. Yes. We do not know what's going to happen tomorrow. Hopefully, we're going to make it to the end of the year. And hopefully, we're going to make it to more and more and more years. Yes. But remember, it's every day. It's a new beginning, a new opportunity to learn a new to learn new things, to spend time with your family, to be thankful for the things you have. Yes, you're breathing. You can enjoy the delicious food. You can enjoy the sodas, <laughs> right? And well, you, you got to be thankful that it's Monday, that you're uh, in a new week. You have a job. Yes, that you are, you're sustaining your family. Yes, that you have everything you need. So, people, excellent, excellent. Let's begin with this. I told you, some kind of review. What is e-commerce? Do you remember anything related to e-commerce? Or do you know the definition or do you remember the definition of e-commerce? If you do so, let me know. Tell me, tell me. Um, yes, teacher. it's a type of commerce that um, we use the social media or another digital um, services to sell products. All right, all right. Thank you, Diego, for your opinion. Is there another opinion? Come on, guys, come on. Yes, we have seen this, we have seen this. E-commerce. Yes. What's your point of view? Or your, your opinion, your definition for e-commerce. Tell me, tell me. Hello. Guys, guys, hello. We are we are fourteen. You are fourteen. Okay, teacher. I remember we said that the e-commerce uh, was the way to buy and sell very easy through the internet with a platform. Okay, through platforms, through applications. Online oh, platforms. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's a good one too. Yeah. Thank you, Katya, for sharing. Anybody else? Another opinion? Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Yes. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. No? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. See, look at this. Uh, let me see. Raúl, Edgardo, can you read the definition, please? Thank you, Raúl. Okay. E-commerce companies and individuals that buy and sell goods and service over the internet. Thank you, thank you, Raúl. Excellent. 
What is e-commerce? Oh, sorry. The e that we have over here stands for electronic. Electronic or internet. In other terms, internet. But the e over here stands for electronic commerce. So e-commerce is companies and individuals that buy and sell goods and services over the internet. That's what e-commerce is. And as Katya said, they use platforms or they use applications to offer their services or to offer their products, their items, their goods, anything, you know. Because now you can, uh, through the internet, you can buy, you can get anything, whatever you want. You just go to Google, you can go to Amazon, you can go to eBay, you can go, go to Alibaba, you can AliExpress. You have many options, many platforms, and you can get anything, anything, anything. And you can even uh, get things that you don't even know about or that you don't, you don't even use. <laughs> but they are look they, they good look they they good look they 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 look good sorry okay now so e-commerce is just the 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 buying and selling products through the internet but we have some types of e-commerce we have some types of e-commerce let me see uh eric read them please read them Okay, type of e-commerce, business to business, business to consumer, business to government, and consumer to consumer, consumer to business, business, and consumer to government. All right, all right, thank you for, for reading. Take a look. Take a look at this. Up here, and uh, we did not we did not study the six of them. We only study four of them, right? We did not see business to government and the consumer to government. We only study this four: business to business, business to consumer, consumer to consumer, and consumer to business. And they are down here. Look. Consumer to consumer, business to business, consumer to consumer, and business to consumer. And uh, what we have down here in parentheses is the abbreviation C2C, B2B, C2B, and B2C, which stands for what we have over here. Yes. Let me see. Let's see what a person says. Uh, Magdiel, what can you say? What can you say about consumer to consumer or C to C? What can you say about this this uh, type of e-commerce? Consumer to consumer. Yes, this one. Uh, I think uh, it's like a marketplace in Facebook and. That you you can buy you can buy and sell um an other person and not necessary uh, the other person could be a a business or company um could be a person that he wants to <clears throat> Sorry, he wants to to sell his product or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you, my God. For your opinion, I think you're done, right? Is that it, my dear? Yes. Ah, right, right. yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you, my for your opinion. Okay, my was saying that the we normally see this on Facebook. And yes, we do, especially in the on the marketplace option or area over there on Facebook. You can see that a consumer, right, a person that consumes from a from a business, 
is selling this product to another consumer. Yes. So that's what, what it is, right? Consumer to consumer. It's me selling my computer to another person, right? I do not have a business. I'm just a consumer. I consume the product or the item and I sell it, right? Yes. Let's continue with business to business. What about this one? Let me see. Um, let's see. Mario, are you there? Can you give us your opinion, Mario? I think he's not available. Let me see. What about you, Ronald, Ronald Alexander? Are you available for participation? Yes. Um, so, okay. Uh, B2B. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. This is the business is when uh when the door is not a direct channel to the customers to find the customers is just only from uh from a company to a company. Uh, I have a, a, an example to be a distributor, I think. What is an example? Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Maybe, uh, I don't know, probably, I don't know, I mean, something in mind. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you for, for your opinion, Ronald. Well, this one is also easy, you know, a business selling to another business. Yes. Maybe it's a retailer, you know, it, it, it's, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. All right. Yes, and then we have consumer to business and business to consumer. It's also common. Yes, let's see. Consumer to business. Let me choose a person to provide an opinion. Marilyn. Yes, Marilyn. Thank you. Consumer to business. What is your opinion to this, this uh, type of e-commerce? Marilyn, Alejandra? No, she's not there. Okay. Mauricio, what can you say? Consumer to business. Well, I consider that I, um. An example is when the when the business like uh, Super Selectors has a lot of products, but doesn't have, for example, some uh, artesanales. How do you say artesanal? Handicrafts. Handicraft products like uh, tamales, pupusas, tortillas, um, or or something like that, and the consumer. Mm -hmm. sells that product for the for the business i think that is the uh, an example but uh, yes yes that is my opinion okay yes and your opinion is is is, is right you you're right yes that's pretty much what what it is you know it's a person a person a consumer providing to a business yes yes all right very good and uh, business to consumer is the, the most common one. Yes, I am a consumer and uh, businesses provide to me. One clear example is like uh, some, uh, well, almost an hour ago, like around 7.40 uh, or a quarter to eight. I, how can I say this? Uh, well, I acquire or I bought a package, uh, an internet package for my cell phone or for my uh, chip, and it cost me cost me ten dollars for the whole month. So that's me consuming from a business. The business in this case is the cell phone company. The the, the yeah cell phone company right, <laughs> a telecommunication company. 
and that's the business and the business is is providing to me the internet package i buy it right that's the easiest one or the most common one all right excellent thank you guys for that one let's continue now let's review the vocabulary seen in unit number one selection instant gratification deals infinite shelves brick and mortar store platform m commerce local e-commerce auctions bids low, lower co costs fraud uh fraud internet theft risk and fraud sorry risk of fraud credit is over here credit car fraud delivery policy shopping cart website security and fraudulent charge yes let's see selection what does a selection mean all right for this we're gonna go to this let me go back and we got selection let me see if i can get the some arrows all right what is selection? Do you remember selection, people? Selection, do you remember? Hello? Selection? Okay, no? I think uh, it's the number, yeah, three one. All right, we got it there. Having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Yes, that's selection. Well, this one is easy. Sele se selecting, choosing, or picking. We have the several options for the word selection. Yes. All right. Instant gratification or instant gratification. What is this? What is this? Uh -huh. The, the desire to experience fulfillment without delay. Exactly. The desire, the desire of experience fulfillment without delay. It means that you are, you are satisfied. Satisfied. You feel satisfied with the service, with, the, with everything. Pretty much the experience that you have with the company. Deals. What is deals? What does deals mean? When a when website the... offer products for sale. Okay. When a website when a website offers products for sale. Yes, those are the deals. Those are the deals. Number four, infinite shelves. Infinite shelves. What is the this? Bit the virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e-commerce stores exactly the virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e-commerce stores yes shelves are uh, some type of furniture where you place or where you put things okay to display yes now Brick and mortar store. What's a brick and mortar store? Do you remember? I told you this one. A traditional yes. business. Yes. It's a, a regular store, a traditional store, the ones that we already know. Yes. For example, we have a dog. A dog is a shoe company. Uh, well, I haven't seen any 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 online business from this company. Uh, I don't know or or Partos. It's a shoe company as well. I haven't seen anything on the internet. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Maybe they do have uh, their 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 online uh thing right there, but I don't know. So uh, the brick and mortar store. It's a company that works traditionally. I mean, this company do not work. Does not work online, yes. And it's a traditional business that deals with its customers face to face, in an office or a store. All right. Thank you guys for that one. We got it. We got it. Thanks. Let's move on. Yes. Now, 
We got the other part down here. It's this one. We got platform. We got e-commerce, local e-commerce, e auctions, and bids. Now I ask, what is platform? Do you remember this one? Platform. It's a software Maybe. application. Of course. All right. That allows Maybe. online businesses to manage their website sales and operations. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. It is a software application that allows online businesses to manage their oper their, their uh, websites, sales, and operations. Very good. Very good. What about e-commerce? Remember, the M right there stands for mobile or mobile. Mobile it's commerce. Electronic, or, electronic commerce. It's uh, electronic commerce conduced by mobile phones. Exactly. The one next to it. <laughs> right. The one next, right next to it. Yes. And commerce, mobile commerce or mobile commerce, electronic commerce conducted on mobile or mo mobile phones. Excellent. Local e-commerce. What is this one? Local e-commerce? Maybe a kind, a kind of e-commerce focus on the customer's geography location. Okay, all right, all right. A kind of e-commerce focused on the consumer's geographical location. Yes, yes. It's the local e-commerce. It's a, it's a company or a store that worries about people that live in the area, right? Yes. Auctions. What is all, uh, what are auctions? What is auction or what are auctions? Tell me, tell me. It's a, a public sale. A, pub, a public, public sale. sale which, which goods or property are sold to the highest bidder. All right. A public sale in which goods or property are sold to the highest bidder. Exactly, that's an auction or auctions. The last one, bids, bids. This one is easy, it's right here. It is the offering of a price, especially at an auction, at an auction. All right, let's go back to the main, sorry, to the presentation. In the presentation, I have more vocabulary. We got lower lower costs. We got fraud, identity theft, risk of fraud, credit card fraud, delivery policy, shopping cart, website security, and fraudulent charge. Do you understand the vocabulary? Guys? Yes? Kind of. Kind of? Do you have any confusion or questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Very good. Let's continue then. Let's continue then. Here. We're gonna work on this. Uh, on the Friday, we read we read this this passage about Jack Ma, the founder of uh, Alibaba. Yes, we kind of uh, practiced the vocabulary, or or uh, yes, I gave you the definition of some words here. So right now we are going to well i am going to read this paragraph again what i want you guys to do is well i'm going to choose 
I'm going to choose some words from here, from this paragraph, and I'm going to give each word to each person, and this person is going to create an example using the word, all right, to practice the vocabulary. Let's do this. Let me read it to you, and then I'm going to give you the words. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stages of Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley the tech hub in the United States that was met with denials. And his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant, eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders, and that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy, Ma and his teams began offering value-add support services, for example, custom web pages to, to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15-year-old e-commerce company that has its origins outside the United outside of the United States is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capi capitalization, approximately 2000, 2000, I keep making that mistake, $200 billion. All right, yes. So uh, uh, last time, last time I asked you about this, do you have any questions or any doubts about the vocabulary? No, teacher. No. Okay, fine. Very good. Now, everyone, I mean everyone, everyone, all of you, the ones that are available, I'm going to choose or mark some words, verbs, vocabulary, general, and I want you guys, I want you guys to come up with examples, any kind of example any kind of example using the word that I'm going to select or the words that I am going to select. Yes, let's begin. Although I'm thinking about some here, I have forgotten, let me see if, I, if it is wrong or not. Maybe it is not. Okay, no, it's okay. Oops. Yes, it's my bad. All right, uh, this one, Come up with the example. Denials. Launched. It's with A, right? Let me write it down right there. Right above the word. That's the word. Okay, auction. The take on financial strain. Hmm, let me see. Withdrew. All right, only those ones. One, two, three, seven. Seven words. Seven words. Yes. Choose whatever uh, or whichever word you want and uh, try to create an example and you're going to share it in. I'm going to give you one 
two minutes. To think of the example, let me write, just set the time, it's here, right? Go, go. All right, time's up. Oops. Let's begin. Diego, ready? Go. Diego Josue. Hi, teacher. Sorry. All right. Okay. Um. Sorry, I was I was doing another thing. Let me see. Yes. Um what do you want? Sorry? One example with the words I selected. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you one one some time to, to write it down. Uh let me see. Marilyn, do you have your example? Share your example, please. Marilyn, hello. Not there either. All right. Magdiel, go for it, Magdiel. Magdiel, are you there? Sorry, teacher, with a specific structure. It doesn't really matter what, what you use. Okay. Yes. Okay, maybe I think um in two thousand twenty two, Samsung launched a new uh, kind of um uh, Samsung S twenty two S twenty two Ultra. Okay. Could be. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. Thank you for sharing your your example. All right, let's continue, guys. Luis, Javier, Mauricio, Emerson, Katia, Ronald, Rafael, Raúl, Mario.
I have some. Okay. Some examples. Uh, for example, phones, I found a way to be awake very early. I'm sorry. Do you want an example of any yes. of the yeah? Okay, my example is I found a way to be awake very early. Repeat it. I found the way to be awake very early. I found. Yes, you the, first, the first word. word. The first word. The first word. Yeah, found. Do you know? Do you know what it means? Yes. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Found in Spanish is not like a encontrar. No. Oh, it's the fundar. Exactly. <laughs> ah, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. I found a, a big business, for example. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Yeah, that one. Found it, actually, because it's the past one. Found it. It's a regular ah, okay, verb. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's continue with another person. Emerson, Ronald, Mauricio, Magdiel, Marilyn, Raul, Mario, Rafael, Luis, Carla, Yulisa. For example, Daniel. Uh, Daniel's not going about the subject. Which one? Which word do you say? Daniel's. Or Daniel's. Yes. Denials. Denials, sorry. No, denials. I denies knowing about the subject is correct? No. Because denials, denials is not a verb. The verb is deny. But in these cases, it's like, like um, how can I say this? Like negations. Negations. Yes. Refusals. Um, uh, one moment, teacher. Okay. <laughs> In the meantime, Emerson, Ronald, Rafael, again, you listen, uh, Carla. That one with uh, with Drew could be uh. The magazine we drew the the price offer. Okay, the magazine we drew the, the price offer. Yes, yes. All right. Thank you for your example. Anyone else? Anyone else? People, it's time to practice. 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 Maybe Apple was founded by Steve Jobs. Mm, no, I mean, it should go like this. Apple, you say Apple or Apple cell phones? Apple. Okay, Apple was, Apple was founded by Steve Jobs or Steve Jobs founded Apple. Yes. It's the same. All right, all right. Okay, thank okay. you. All right, anybody else? With the auction word? Which one? Auction. Auction. Okay. The auction will be the next Friday. Okay, the auction sale will be next Saturday, Friday, you said, sorry. Yeah. All right, all right, there you go. Excellent, thank you for sharing your example. Anyone else? Anyone else? No one else. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. 
Thank you for sharing your examples. Now, we're going to continue with the next part because we got uh, more things to do right here. It's not here. But back here. Here we are. Teacher, how many homeworks um, do we have to be done? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think it's five, five activities on the platform. Yes, because it is one activity per day or per session. And this is our fifth session. It means that you're going to have five activities up in the platform. All right. Okay, I have to do one of them. Okay, thank you, thank you. Work on it today. All right, uh, we haven't practiced uh, practice reading the conversation. We're going to, I mean, the, the, the passage. And that's what we are going to do in this moment. I'm going to choose some people and these people are going to read the whole passage. Yes, let me see. Uh, do we have a volunteer to read, to read? Me, teacher. Okay, Emerson, thank you, Emerson. Go ahead, read. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds, funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with denials. And his business model was criticized to be unprof unprofitable, unprofitable. unprofitable unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. Uh, continue. Yes, yes, of course. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Mac and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant, eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy, Ma and his team began offering value-added support services. For example, custom web page to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 50 years old e commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately $200 billion. All right. Thank you, Emerson, for reading the passage. I need more people, more volunteers, another volunteer to read the passage. Hello, another one? Sorry, what paragraph? The passage, read, read the passage, all of it. Anyone to read the passage? I can try. Okay, Mauricio, thank you for, for offering. Go. Okay. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jagma Group it. Rupert, 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them and dreamed to found Alibaba with the goal and facil fac facilitating the dating 
international trade for small and medium enterprise based in China. In the early stage, stage of Alibaba, Ma tried to raise fund, fund in Silicon Valley, the tech hub, hub in the United States, and was met was met with the the nails, the nails, Bye. and his business the nails and his business models was criticized to be a un, un pro, unprofitable and unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2033, still unfortunately unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Tovu.com, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce GN eBay. Determinated to win, they will remain in a commission-free marketplace for millions of online trades. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while may maintaining the, the platforms. Commission-free policy May Ma, uh, Ma and his team began 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 offering value added support service e that e, g the customer cost cost custom custom web space to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in the in less than five years, and eBay subsequent, subsequently withdraw from China, Alibaba. Of a 50 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, if now one of world's largest company measured by its market capitalization approximately $200 billion. All right, no, uh, thank you for reading, Mauricio. Let me just help you out with some words that you mispronounced. Uh, enterprises, you have to mention the S. You can say enterprises or you can say enterprises. Enterprises, enterprises. Stages. Stages, you have to mention, you have to pronounce the S as well. Okay, stages. Uh, let me see. Yes, I always else. struggle with the S at the end of the words. Yes, you have to pronounce it. You have to pronounce the Okay, S. thanks. You have Teacher, to... may I? Sorry? May I? Yes, yes. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Diego. Oh, denials. Denials, denials. yes. Uh, this word is difficult to pronounce. Unprofitable. Profitable, unprofitable, unprofitable, and unsustainable. Sustainable, unsustainable. Unsustainable. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, giant, 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 giant. Doesn't need to move. All right, there you go. And this this word is determined. 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 Okay, it's not it's not determined. It's determined. 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 Oh, let me see what else. Oh, the e g e g means for example. For example. Okay. Oh, could, right, could right. you present that paragraph through the chat? But a uh, WhatsApp group. Yes, I can do that. Okay, thanks. All right, all right. Thank you. Diego, continue, Diego. Or start, I don't know. Okay, uh, at the beginning. 
Yes, yes, go. Okay. In one hundred, um, sorry. It's one hundred, right? No, this one is one uh thousand. Nineteen ninety nine. Sorry, in nineteen ninety nine, after leaving a government job, Jack, Ma grouped, um, eighteen people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stages of Alibaba, Ma tried to rise found in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with denials. And his business model was criticized to, to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. Continue, continue. Okay. In uh, 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission, commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Uh, determined, determined to win Taobao. Sorry? Determined. Determined to win Taobao. Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online online traders, and that did the put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat both while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy. Matt and his team began offering value-added support services. E.G. Custom web pages to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba of a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately USD, 200 billion. All right, 100 billion. Yes, thank you, thank you very much, Diego, for reading. All right, uh, let me hear one more person. One more person, and then we continue with the next activity. Yes, one more, a volunteer. The last one, the last one. I want to try, teacher. Okay, Tatia, excellent, thank you. You can try, no problem. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, in 19, 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma groped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to fund Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for a small and medium enterprise based in China. In the early stages of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with denials, and his business model was crisis with crisis. I don't know. Uh, to be um, sorry. Creedy, criticized. Ah, okay, criticized. Uh, business model was criticized to be unprofitable uh, and unsustainable by many at the time. In two thousand three, is still unprofitable with Alibaba. My still launched an online auction auction site named Tabao. Taobao Kong charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Um, determined to win, Taobao remains a commission-free marketplace 
opportunities for millions of online traders, and that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy. Uh, Ma and his team began offering value-added support service, uh, for example, custom web pages to online merchants to follow a small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently, subsequently, subsequently. Subsequently, thank you. Subsequently, subsequently, we draw uh, from China, Alibaba, uh, fifteen years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, it is now one of the world's largest companies, as measured by its market capitalization, approximately uh, two thousand billion dollars. All right, two thousand billion dollars. Okay. Actually, it's 200, not 2,000. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't worry about it. I don't know why all of it is being selected. Let me just share it. Let me just do 2,008. What is happening? Sorry, I bring you back. Okay, very good. Uh, then we, we got four questions right here. We got four questions. I'm going to give you two minutes to finish them. Read the question and read the four, three, three options, I think. Yes, the three options, read the three options and answer the questions. I mean, choose the, the, the best option. I'm just going to give you two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. All right, let's see. Number one, what was the goal to found Alibaba? Letter A, to sell more products online. Letter B, to win over eBay. And letter C, to facilitate international trade in China. What is letter your C. answer? Letter C. Letter C. Yep, to facilitate international trade in China. 
okay, to facilitate facilitate international trade in China. Let me change that color. This is one looks better. This one looks better. All right, there you go. Very good, very good. Yes, letter C is the correct answer to facilitate international trade in China. Second question, when was Taobao.com launched? Letter A, in 2004. Letter B, in 2003. And letter C, in 2007. B, 2003. All right, let's see. Letter B is the correct answer in 2003. Yes. Question number three. How did Ma keep the commission-free policy policy at Taobao.com? Letter A, by offering value-add services. B, by raising funding. Letter C, by facilitating trade. Maybe A. Maybe A. What do you guys think? Diego thinks it's letter A. What do you guys think? Hello? What do you think? By offering value add services, by by raising funding, and uh, by facilitating trade. I think it's a letter A by offering value added services. All right, let's use letter A. Letter A is the correct answer by offering value add services. Question number four. Where did Matt, where did Jack Map look for fans in the early stages of Alibaba? Letter A, eBay. Letter C, Silicon Valley. Letter C, that's a C, right? Letter C, banks in the United States. B. B. Okay, letter B, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley or letter B is the correct answer. All right. Thank you guys for answering the questions. Now, we're going to continue with part number four. It says building vocabulary. We got four, four words over here. International trade, tech hub, unprofitable, and commission, commission free. All right, for every word next to the word or next to the couple of words, we have two definitions. What are we going to do? We're going to check. Well, look, find the words in bold in the passage about Jack Ma, check the correct meaning. So we're going to select like this, like this, the correct definition or the correct meaning to the word. International trade, you read the definitions and you choose the one that you think suits better to the word. All right. I am going to give you three minutes to do this. Three, three minutes. Let me just set it up. Let me set it up. Three minutes. Starting now, three minutes.
All right, time's up. Time's up. Number one. Let me read to you both definitions and then you tell me which one is the answer. The exchange of capital, goods, and services across international borders or territories. Excuse me. The exchange of domestic goods within the boundaries of a country. Who can read the right definition? What is international trade? Tell me, Magdiel, yes. The exchange of capital goods and services across international borders or territories. Yes, yes. Thank you, Magdiel, excellent. The exchange of capital goods and services across international borders or territories. Excellent, excellent, yes. That's the correct choice. Number two, we have Tech Hub. Let me read both definitions. A company expanded through technology and a community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. Anyone? Anyone, anyone? Hello, people. I think there is a community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. Okay, let me see. Yes, a community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. Yes, yes, you are right. The next word, unprofitable. A business not yielding profit or financial gain, a business or activity yielding profit or financial gain. Yes. What can you say about this one? What is the right definition or the right or the correct meaning? Anyone? Uh, a business not yielding profit or financial gain. A business not yielding profit or financial gain. That is unprofitable. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. The next one. A form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services. A remuneration for services provided or product, products sold. What is the correct meaning, people? Read the correct meaning. A uh, remuneration for service service provided or product sold, maybe. No, I think there is a form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services. Yes. Maybe commission free. It means it is not paid. You don't pay it. You don't pay it. So a form of payment a company chooses not to charge, not to, right? Not to ask for money. So it is the first one, right? A form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services. I want to show you some right here, which, uh, let me open this. The word yielding, do you know what yielding is? It's like flexibility. 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 Well, let flexible. me tell you that the word, the verb, is a regular verb. It has a lot of definitions. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. Yes. Oh, look at it. All right. Jill. That's the verb. Jill. Surrender, give up, capitulate, bow, relent, submit, back down, admit, defeat, throw the towel. Oh, this is surrender, the same thing, a surrender. And uh, more, more uh, synonyms, seed, give up, relinquish, surrender, uh, the same thing. Produce, this is the one, this is the one. Or generate, the one that is in the book. 
uh, a business not yielding, a business not generating or not producing, right? Result in, translate into, bring about, create, cause, effect, effectuate, spawn, prompt, evoke, invoke, engender, make, beget, uh, lose, be, oh, well, that's, that's the antonym, the opposite. More definitions for the word yielding, return, play, bear, bring in, pay out, give away, give, buckle, crumple, fall, profit, revenue, return, return on investment, ga investment, gains, earnings, proceeds, income, taken. Uh, we have a lot of definitions for the word, for the word yield. Well, let me just go over here. Let me see what I what I can uh, what I can do. Where is it? Oh, this one, this one. For you guys to see what what it means in Spanish, the same word. I'm just looking for it. All right, look at it. Look. This is one of the verbs, the English verb that has a lot of definitions, and uh, it requires uh, a whole session to study all the definitions, to study all the, the situations in which we use it. Yes, but look, it has a lot of emphasis. All right, very good. Thank you for that. Let's continue working on the book. Okay. Part number five. It says there, a building vocabulary. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to write a sentence or four. Four sentences. Four sentences using these terms. Look, write a sentence using each of the terms from the box above. So, we're going to write a sentence using international trade, tech hub, unprofitable, and commission free. All right, let's do this. I am going to give you six, five or six minutes. Let me just set the time right now. Okay, we are ready. Let's go. Six minutes are on. We are on. Five or six minutes to write. Four examples, each one for each word, one for each word.
One more minute. See, yes, one more minute. Okay, time's up, time's up. Let's share the examples. International trade. Let's begin with international trade. Let me see. International trade. Share your examples with the first term. Guys, share your examples with the first, first term, international trade. The gas. I'm sorry? The gas, maybe. What do you mean gas? And gasoline. No, but you have to give me an example, a sentence. Oh. Um. Anyone? Hello, people. <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose people directly then. Since you don't want to participate, I'm going to choose people directly. Let me see. Eric, you. Give me an example with international trade. Okay, and Samsung is is an international using international trade in America. International trade company trading trade company in America. In in America, all right. Okay, thank you for the example. Let me see. Uh, Rafael, what can you say? International trade. Rafael, hello. Uh, I have a one tech hub teacher. Okay. Oh, well, Google Tech Hub. Uh, it's updating a lot, offer offering a lot of jobs around the world. Can you please repeat it? Google Tech Hub is involving and offering more uh, more jobs around the world. Okay. Thank you for sharing your example. Thank you, thank you. I Rafael is not available. Raul? International trade, Raul. Okay. The exchange of domestic goods Mm -hmm. We weeding. Oh, yes, weeding. Oh, this example for me. Mm -hmm. This example the uh, the 
The presentation or the example for me? The example yep. is from the vocabulary. International uh, trade, tech hub, unprofitable or commission free. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Miguel, do you have an example? Yes, teacher. Okay. And the first uh, phrase, Interna international trade fell down uh, 3% due to recession. Due to? Recession. Okay. All right. Another example. Yes. Um, the government made a tech hub called Cube. Cube, okay. Very good, very good. Uh, other example could be the business was unprofitable because of location. Unprofitable. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That okay. that that be all. All right, thank you for, for your okay. example, Mag. Or oh, do you okay. have another one? No, no, only that. Okay, all right. Yes. Who else? Who else has examples? More examples. With with the tech hub, unprofitable and commission free. Yes. People, you have to practice. You have to practice. You gotta practice. You're not giving me anything. Me, teacher. What turn? Thank you, Katya. Yes. Uh, what what a uh, concept? I'm sorry. Uh, what concept? What number of concept? Or anyone? Yes, any 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 of it. Oh, okay. Uh, for example, my first international trade allows the countries to have high benefits. Um, the second, uh, Silicon Valley has been the most uh, listened tech hub in the United States. Unprofitable. Um, the last business launched by Carlos Slim was unprofitable. And the last one, uh, if you shop in the she through your phone this Black Friday, they have a commission free. Okay, very good. Remember, unprofitable. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you, Katya, for participating. All right. We have we we have time for one more participant. So people, one more participant. One more participant. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Well, our research about sentence and, and how to use international trade. Mm -hmm. And for example, this was most visible, visible in international trade trade activities. And for for unprofitable it, it is the newspapers is believed to have been unprofitable for at least the past decade. And um, that is my example. Only those two, Mauricio? Uh, I have for unprofitable, this, uh, I know that it's the same. Unprofitable. <laughs> unprofitable, yes. Um. Yes, but I um uh, I'm trying to to research about Terihu, but I didn't receive the the probably the this uh, tech hub are springing up all over larger cities. Also, encouraged development. Okay. Yes. 
All right. You got it. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay. It's it's 10, 10 o'clock. Let me just do some things here. All right. Uh, guys, I need you to remember, I need you to work on the platform. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you who has not worked. Or the things or the parts that you're missing. Let me show you what's going on. All right, here we go. As you can see over here, uh, Diego has already finished the activities. Thank you, Diego, for working on it. Then we have Edgardo has nothing. You see. We got Edgardo zero, Elizabeth zero, Emerson forty four, and, and Eric nothing. Uh, let me see, Julissa nothing, Carla nothing, Katia nothing, Luis Fabricio fifty six. You gotta work on it. Luis Javier twenty, Magdiel you're fine with with ninety two. Manuel this person no, Marilyn you gotta work on it. Fabio Ernesto, 80% is fine. You gotta, if you want, you can uh, increase it. Mauricio Edgardo, work on it, please. Rafael, 80% is, is fine, but. What is, what is that, teacher? Sorry? What is that? I'm sorry? Progress, progress. That is a progress in the platform. Yes. Oh. Yes, and uh, yours is at here, 92%. If I click on your name, we're gonna see, I'm gonna see how much you have worked in the first unit, see? There are two, two sentences in the unit one that can, can, can finish. You cannot do them. Which ones? Uh, you remember? Yes. Give me a minute. Which ones are those? Let's see if I I think I can see that probably. Back. If you guys don't know how number to solve, five. I'm sorry? Homework number five. Well, the last one is today's today's activity. If you guys don't know how to work or to do an exercise, uh, just let me know through WhatsApp that you cannot really do it. All right. Yes. Magdiel, please stay. Stay after class a couple of minutes, and I'm going to help you with the platform. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's just let me take take attendance right now, and then uh, I'm going to dismiss the other ones. So let me just quickly do it. Uh, Diego Josue. Present, teacher. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez was not here today. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present. Yes, thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Uh, Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Katia Maria Gonzalez. Present teacher. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú Garcia. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Mario. No, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. I'm here. Thank you, Rafael Alberto Herrera. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz. Present. Then we have uh, Ronald Alexander Vasquez. Present. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, people. Uh, thank you for showing up today, for being here today.
I will see you tomorrow. Uh, teacher, I'm here. Right, I have issues with my headsets. Okay, thank you, Rafael. All right. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep well. Rest well. And I'm just gonna stay with uh, Magdiel. All right. See you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Walk on the platform, please. Thank you so much. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good, good night. Ah, uh, bye, 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 Diego. Take care. Good night. Thank you too. Okay, Magdiel. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's going on with the exercise. You said number five, right? Number five, exercise number three and four. This one? No. Oh, five, you said. Before oh, that. Oh, this one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. All right. Number three. three and four, I made a different way but i can i i can found a correct form what do you have uh a friend mm -hmm. said said offer offer that were were too good to be true Maybe a uh, scam. Maybe scam. Maybe a scam. Okay. Yes. And this one, uh, you have to change. Maybe both. Excuse me. Both verbs, because we have two verbs in the sentence, not only one. The first verb, let me uh, highlight it. The first verb that we have is are, and the second are. one that we have is may. Uh -huh. So that means that we need to change are to the past form, and we have to change may to the past form. But what is the past oh. form of the verb may? I mean, uh, I mean the, 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 the modal, the modal verb may. The modal verb, well, the past form of may is might. This one, might. Let's um, check, let's check. <clears throat> let's check, okay, there you go. So the problem was may. In the past form, the past form of may is might. Yes? And you said number four, right? Yeah. What do you have in number four? A blogger said mobile. Mm -hmm. Sorry. A blogger said mobile phone. Uh huh. Mobile phone networks were more secure than public Wi-Fi. Okay. A blogger said mobile phones networks were more secure, right? Than public Wi-Fi. Okay, let's check this out. But well, it is correct, Magdiel. <laughs> correct. But what was uh maybe it's different? Did you put a period at the end? At the end, the period. At the end. Yes. Yes. Wi-Fi, you write with capital. Yes. 
Well, the only thing, the only verbs, the only things that I changed were the verbs. I changed uh, say, I mean, says to said, as you can see. And I changed the uh, R. Word. R and word, yes. That's it. Set mobile phone networks. networks were more secure than mm -hmm. public Wi Fi. Yes, exactly. Did you get it? Not yet. Could you send me a copy? <laughs> Sorry? Could you send me a copy? Wait, look, I'm going to show you the answer. Look, a blogger said mobile phones networks uh, were more secure than public Wi Fi. Is that what you have? No, yet. Ah. You got it? What was the mistake? What was your mistake? Public Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. No. Still incorrect. There are a uh, space between the Wi-Fi. I'm sorry? Are there space between? No. Well, yeah, the hyphen. There's a hyphen. Uh-huh. Yes. Nothing? Not yet. I'm blogger set mobile phone at work. A blogger mm -hmm. set mobile. Mobile phone networks were more secure than public Wi Fi. Networks. Okay, I I finish. I I want to try. All right, let me know through WhatsApp. Okay. All right. Okay. Again, thank you for staying. Okay? Thank, thank you so much, teacher. Yes, no problem. I will see you tomorrow, okay. my dear. Have a good night. Sleep. Bye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thank sleep well. you. Sleep well too. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow.